Hello fellow Texans, my name is Mark and I work at Student Counseling Services. I hope everyone is well and has adjusted as the best they can to the online format for classes. I wanted to take a few minutes today and talk about time management and how important it is, especially for those struggling with classes online and those preparing to take classes in the summer. So what is time management and why is it important? Time management is the process of organizing and planning how, you, how to divide your time effectively and productively while exercising conscious control of time spent performing specific activities. Managing one's time can be challenging when there is less structure, such as when taking online classes. Being able to effectively manage your time is important because time is limited. No matter how you look at it, there are only 24 hours in a day. The art of time management helps you make the most out of your available time. When we have a lot of things to do or deadlines to meet, we can get overwhelmed. Planning out tasks of your day can help reduce the stress by giving you a clear roadmap of how to meet your important obligations and deadlines. Also, when you learn to take control of your time, you improve your ability to focus. And with the increased focus comes enhanced efficiency because you don't lose momentum when working on your allotted tasks you will be able to accomplish more with less effort. Effective time management is the effective use of your time that allows you to plan your days in such a way that you finish your work with less effort and make the most of the limited time you've got. To be effective at time management, you must know your deadlines, plan ahead, have a strategy, keep it manageable, and schedule breaks. Two time management techniques that I would like to share with you are time budgets and to-do lists. You may have never heard of a time budget before, but you're probably saying to yourself, well, I know uh, what a to-do list is. The question is, do you know how to maximize its, its, its effectiveness? First, let's talk about a time budget. Just like budgeting finances, time budgeting is planning and allocating how much time we want to spend on things we enjoy or things we need to accomplish. First, you need to find a method or system that works for you. This could be old-fashioned pen and paper or even an app. There are several out there. Remember, there are only 168 hours in a week. Ideally, you would spend a week logging the time spent during what you normally do. This is called time audit. When budgeting your time, you need to think about fixed versus discretionary time. Fixed time is must-dos like sleeping, eating, or attending Zoom classes, while discretionary time is what want to do's, like spending time with friends, playing video games, or social media. Next, let's talk about the to-do lists. To-do lists are easy, right? When making a to-do list, there are some things to think about. First, it's important to have separate daily and weekly to-do lists. You will wanna write down all important dates on a calendar or planner for the month. Note when assignments are due and dates of other important tasks such as finals. Look at these dates as your goals and referring to them often will keep you focused and on track. Canvas has both a calendar and a to-do list feature built in and they are great at tracking upcoming assignments. All assignments for each class can be seen in one central location. The to-do list feature can be seen on the dashboard tab or within each individual course tab. It's important to remember the to-do list located on the dashboard will include all tasks due, while the to-do list in the course tab are course-specific tasks. Now that you have an overall picture of what needs to be accomplished, you can focus on what needs to be done week by week and day to day. Before any given week, you should prepare a list of things that need to be done. This will help inform your daily to-do list. When creating a daily to-do list, Prioritize and keep it manageable. Don't try to do too much at once. It can get overwhelming. Ideally, you should try to put five to 10 tasks on your daily list to do while also incorporating break times. Breaks should be scheduled at least every 90 minutes to help you avoid burnout and maintain a high level of productivity. You should also prioritize and have a strategy to complete the tasks. Should you start with a task that's quick and easy or should you tackle the most time consuming task first? Ultimately, it is going to be up to you, but when motivation is low, accomplishing even a small task may provide the momentum needed to keep working. 
Once you've completed a task on your to-do list, it's important to mark it off the list. This can have positive effects on boosting your self-esteem by giving you a feeling of accomplishment. Two ways in which we can think about prioritizing our activities are urgency versus importance model and the ABC model. The urgency versus importance model is highlighted to the right of this slide. This model suggests considering the importance or weight of the items on your list and the urgency or when it's due. Quadrant run one here in the top left is the urgent important activities. These are things due today or tomorrow or dealing with emergencies or crisis. Quadrant two in the top right is the important not urgent activities. Activities in this category include long-term projects, planning ahead, studying in advance, and starting projects or assignments early. Quadrant three here in the bottom left is the urgent, not important activities. Example of these activities include interruptions, distractions, fun events that come up, social invitations uh, from friends. And finally, quadrant four is the bottom right. These activities include time wasters, busy work, procrastination activities, aimless uh, internet browsing, to increase the overall effectiveness, uh, Stephen Covney, the author of the book Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, suggests spending most of our times in quadrant one and two, and as little of our time as possible in quadrant four. The ABC model, originally developed by a man named Alan Lakin, consists of assigning a priority status of A, B, or C to each item on our to-do list or task list. A status items, must do or high priority, very important, critical items with close deadlines or a high level of importance to them. B status items are should do medium priority items, including things that are considered quite important over time and not as critical as A status items, but still important to spending time doing nonetheless. And finally, C items, C status items, these items are considered nice to do's, but are low priority at the time and low consequences if left undone at the moment. I hope you found this presentation helpful. Um, I wish all of you the best as we wrap up the spring semester. So focus, finish strong, and remember, you've got this. As a reminder, Student Counseling Services is open and we are here for you. If you are feeling overwhelmed or struggling, please don't hesitate to reach out and contact us. We are located in the Wellness Center on the first floor of Traditions North. Our number, which is answered 24 hours a day, is 254-968-9044. Thanks again for listening and I hope you have a great and relaxing weekend.